Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I am a part of the Thrift Flip Road Trip Challenge, which is hosted by Trish and Kay from The Crafting Cousins, and this month they have Sammy from Unicorn Dust Designs. Both are my favorite, favorite channels. You have to go and check them out along with the playlist link. I'll have it all down in my description box. If we haven't met yet, my name is Tammy and this is Lamis Creations DIY. Let's start crafting. So to start out, this is what I am using. It's a leg post. I don't know where it came from, probably a table. First off, we are going to get that bolt out. It took a little bit of finazzing and muscles, but I got the whole thing out. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the entire thing white. After that is dry, taking some painter's tape, we're going to tape off on the top and the bottom of those rungs in the middle. Well, there's one in the middle, one on the top, and one on the bottom. Just like so! Ta-da! I'm going to paint those little bumpy bumps with imperial red. And I give it all two coats. And here's the big paint tape reveal. Ta-da! So seeing as I had a little bit of bleed through and the line wasn't very straight, I took some, I had a Rondack white chalk paint and touched everything up. Very, very carefully. I also touched up some of the red a bit and because I didn't like the way the bottom was going, I decided to paint the top of that big block at the bottom all red as well. I just basically continued it down and I think it looks a lot better that way. Next, I also painted two little blocks, one white, one red. I glued and nailed them all together. I'm going to take some wood glue, add it to the bottom of my post, and we're going to glue and then I also nail it on, into the bottom. And on the bottom of the block, I added some felt. Taking this other piece of wood that I have and I painted green, I'm going to tape down some words that I printed off of my computer slide under some carbon paper and trace over it with my pen, transferring my image onto my board. You can use a Cricut if you want, you can do it freehand, whichever way you like. Taking a red paint marker, we're going to color in all the letters that we just transferred onto there. And then taking that same Adirondack white in a small brush, I'm just gonna like dab the white here and there on the letters and then around just to make it look like there's a little bit of snow sitting on the letters and it brought them out a bit giving them a little more character taking that same paint I'm going to go around all the edges giving them a little more of a snowy look and I do all the edges on top around the top and the bottom and I'm just doing it in a dabbing motion, up and down, up and down, trying to make it look like snow as much as I can. Using some wood glue and some hot glue, we're gonna add some to the back of the sign. And I used a lot of wood glue. Don't need that much, by the way. Look at that steam from the glue gun. And we're going to center it onto our post and then we're going to nail it in with our air nailer. You can use regular nails, you can use screws, whichever you like. This is what I had on hand. I painted this styrofoam ball gold. And what we're going to do, again, using some wood glue and hot glue, we're going to glue it right on top. Easy peasy. I picked up this ribbon here. I think I got it off of Amazon. I'm going to take a piece, flip the thing over, come on. We're gonna take a piece. I'm gonna start it on the back with just with some hot glue. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We're going to wrap it around, cut it off with our scissors and glue it into place. 
Apparently, I need to show you all of it. This is how you glue and wrap. Taking the same ribbon, I'm going to see how big of a bow I want. Cut off that piece. Fiddle fart with the ribbon a bit until I get what I like. Scrunch it into the middle using a piece of jute rope. I'm going to wrap it around a couple times and then tie it in the back. And then using the leftover pieces of the jute rope, I'm going to use that to tie it around the post. And then I add a little bit of hot glue onto the back as well. Flipping it over, I'm going to fiddle with the bow. Where am I? What am I doing? There you are. This little ornament, I'm going to take the top off and the string. We're going to clip off that little nubby thingy on top. Add some hot glue to it. And we're going to glue it right into the center of the bow. And you're done. Here's what it looked like before. Plain and green. And here's what it looks like now. And I love it. I've always wanted to make one of these. And I finally did. Next craft. Starting out with a couple of thrifted frames that I got from my sister for free. We're going to take all the frames apart. All the backings out and the glass. And put all that aside because you'll still use it. You'll be needing it for this same craft. We're going to paint all three frames with Adirondack White. Home Decor Chalk Paint, front, back, and don't forget all those little inside pieces. Using the backings, the two smaller ones, we're going to take off those little stands, but the bigger one you're going to keep. And I also take off any little hangers that are on there too. Using some scrapbook paper, any color or any kind you like, we're going to take the backings and trace them on to the back of the scrapbook paper. And I was able to fit all three. And then we're just going to simply cut them out with our scissors. Using a bit of Mod Podge, we're going to put a layer onto the back of the backing of the frame. Taking their piece that we cut out, we're going to lay it on top, smooth it down, and then I do a layer of Mod Podge on top. You can use a glue stick if you wish. You can hot glue it down. I just wanted to do it this way because I hope and I think it'll stay a little longer. Now it's time to put everything back together into all their frames. The glass, the backing, into all three. After that's all done, you're going to lay them out and then using a little bit of sandpaper, you're going to rough up the two edges that will be attaching together just so that the glue holds it a little bit better. Using a bit of uh, Eileen's Tacky Glue, we're going to run a bead of that and then a bead of hot glue. Flipping them over, we're going to glue the middle one to the last one and the top one to the middle one. Bead of Eileen's tacky glue and a row of hot glue and glue them together. Now because the middle frame was a little not as thick as the other two I'm taking these they're almost like uh, popsicle sticks. We're going to add those to either side of that middle frame just with some Eileen's tacky glue and some hot glue again which will build up that little frame enough to make it level with the other. And then taking another one, we're going to, again, add the Eileen's Tacky Glue and some hot glue. Apply that on top so that it's on both. And then using a staple gun, we're going to staple it all into place. Giving it a little bit of extra security. Uh, this is like a hanky or just a piece of fabric. I measured out how far I wanted to go up and I'm simply just going to cut all the way across. I don't know what size it was. I just kind of went by eye. We're going to take that piece and 
wrap it around the top part, tacking it down with some glue here and there and all everywhere and all around. And I go around two times just so that it's because it's a fairly thin material. So I wanted to thicken it up just a little bit. So I wrapped it around twice, hot gluing as I go. Taking some stuffing, I'm going to add a little bit into the hat just to give it a little more poofiness so it wasn't so flimsy and floppy. And then with a little elastic, I just scrunch up the top and I add elastic on top, giving it a little poof poofy thingy on top. Using various paint markers, we're going to draw on Mr. Snowman's face. His eyes, his carrot nose, his cute little mouth. This here is from Totally Dazzled. I went through and picked out this one. It's absolutely beautiful. So we're going to add some tacky glue and some hot glue. We're going to glue that right onto the middle frame for one of his little buttons. They're sending me some beautiful ones that they just, a new collection that they just came out with and they're absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to get them. Taking the same fabric that we were using, I cut off another strip. We're going to wrap it around between the first and the second frame, hot gluing anywhere you'd like to hold it into place. Wrapping it on top so it looks like a scarf. Kind of flying in the wind. And with another piece from Totally Dazzled, this one was like a brooch. So I pinned it on to the corner where the two pieces meet. Added a little hot glue to hold it into place. And when you're done decorating your snowman, your frame snowman, you're done. This is what they look like before. And now this is what he looks like now. And I love him. He's cute. And you can stand him up. I hope everyone enjoyed those crafts. I certainly enjoyed making them for you guys. It's so much fun making Christmas stuff. I would like to thank the ladies for hosting this challenge once again. I always have fun joining in on these thrift flip road trips. It gives me a chance to use up some of the things that I have collected along the way. Or things that have been given to me. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, like this video, and don't forget that bell. I see a lot of you people watching but not subscribing. So hit that little subscribe button, please. I hope everybody has a wonderful day, and we'll see you again next time. Bye!